Hey there, how you doing? Charlie Winters here with selections for Sunday the 8th of January. Well, a quick recap on yesterday. Well, we had a winning day, but it hardly feels like that. The horses for me, it seemed like whatever I picked, it was the one that I was like kind of either looking at or wanting like, like kind of stick two things up to me. What I'm, what I'm trying to get to is, I back the uh, Brendan Powell because I know Joe Tizard. He's, he's the stable jockey for Joe Tizard. But then he only goes and puts another jockey on one of the slightly lesser fancied horses. And it wins at 50s. And then in the next race, in the next maiden, or the maiden hurdle, the uh, the other Tizard horse runs a much better race than the other. Oh, here we go. But then we had a bit of a light at the end of the tunnel by Elixir did not spring in at 7 to 1. And then... Some of the other horses ran okay, but basically it was like presided at fifties. It came there. I thought it was coming coming to win the race, but then it faded. I think it came out sixth in the end. But I believe there was there, there was sixteen pound returns on the on the horse racing. But then um, what happened was was the football. Well, the football was totally a different league. But then I thought to myself at half time, I thought, oh, here we go. It's going to be one of them days where we could have cashed out for huge profits on all of them. In the over two and a half goals, I think you could have cashed out for thirty pound with a total return of thirty eight pound even at half time. And I think you could have cashed out for something like was it thirty five or forty on the over three and a half and about twenty eight pound uh, on the over four and a half. And this was all at half time. Well, if you did, you showed a very good profit for the day. But I didn't. But in total, obviously, we only got the over two and a half. So we were one goal short of the over three and a half, which would have made what was that eighty ninety quid something like that. So yeah, it, in the end, although it doesn't feel like it, we staked thirty pound and we had fifty four pound return. But I didn't feel like it was one of a winning day. <laughs> that's that's as daft as it sounds. But anyway, if you give me a like or subscribe, that'd be fine. That'd be absolutely great. So today's bets is a ten pence each way look fifteen and a pound each way accumulated. So the first selection is Lovers Lane at 25 to 1 in the 12.30 at Southwell paying three places instead of two. It ran, it didn't run as bad as what it looks last time and all its previous runs, its racing post rating has been above its official rating. So I think in this small field, and the jockey's not decent, I think it's Alice Stevens, she's not bad. I think it could sneak that third place should one of the other, other horses more fancied um, not run to form. The second selection is Star Shield in the one o'clock at Southwall, paying five places instead of three. This generally runs in much better races than this. However, it very, I didn't see if it had run at Southwall before, but I did notice that it either ran at Newcastle or Leeford the vast majority of time. Well, it's stable, sorry, not it's stable, mate. It's um, the other horse in the same colours is a front runner. Well, this horse has held up. There is also another front runner ridden by a Billy Loft name. And I think there's a chance that the front runners, although it does suit front runners at Southwell, they could go off too quick and set it up for this horse who is drawn well in seven to come down the middle of the track and grab at least a place late on. It's around about seven to one, but I, th I think it's got a cracking chance if it handles the, the, uh, the surface. The third selection is Sarso in the 110 at Chepstow paying four places instead of three. This has run well in the past on heavy ground and soft ground included. It actually came second in the race last year on heavy ground. It didn't have a great run up to the race last year and it didn't run too good last time. So um, I think it's basically, it's arriving in similar kind of conditions what it did last year. I think there's one or two better horses in this race this year than last year. But I still think it's got a good chance of a place and it's proven to handle the conditions and the distance. The fourth selection is Jazz King in the 340 at Chepstow paying four places instead of three. I think this horse is is considered to be better than this. Will it be ready first time out? I don't know. But it, it's a genuine jumps runner that wants softer, heavy ground and round about this distance, maybe a bit further. But I think there's a, there's a few flat performers in this race that may come up short in these testing conditions at Chepstow. So that's why I've gone for Jazz King. Fingers crossed it's ready first time. If it's not, well, let's hope it can still snag a place, even, even if it's not quite ready first time. So those are the selections for Sunday. I apologise for, for the late video. 
I will be providing a video Sunday evening, ready for Monday. Then, unfortunately, well, I will be keeping an eye on racing during the week. If I see some selections, I will give you a video, and that video will be about seven or eight o'clock the night before, like in the past. I apologise if it's made if it's been inconvenient for anybody in recently, or things have been a little bit awkward recently. So anyway, the very best of luck. If you give me a like or subscribe, as I said, that'd be absolutely fantastic. Charlie Winters, over and out. Cheers, mate.